fun. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's good to have you all on. Good to see your shining, beautiful faces. Good to see you all through the week. Wink, wink, as I always do. <laughs> Who wants to open up in prayer? Anyone? Okay, let me try. Go for it, Billy. Thank you. <clears throat> so, uh, Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day. Yes. Uh, let us uh, have a good time to learn, open our heart, open our mind, and to learn this uh, topic about self-concept versus self. So, uh, pray that everybody will have um, great understanding. Yes. Uh, it's not understanding, it's inner standing because mm -hmm. you need the heart to receive it. Thank mm -hmm. you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great, great, great. We appreciate that so much. All right. Who has a praise report? Everyone does have a praise Everyone. report. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who wants to go first? Melissa. I, okay. I, uh, I did um, letting go mm -hmm. in my sleep. Good. Uh, good, good, good. I, I, I took a nap. Mm -hmm. And I let go. I was conscious and I let go in my sleep. So uh, I was able to get better and better every day. Of course, yeah. we were helping you with your healing too. Yeah. We were Thank talking you. to your higher self. <laughs> give Melissa some love. Give her a hug. Give her a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no more taking shots that you don't need. <laughs> stop listening oh. to that. stop listening to that stuff you don't need that stuff the, your body will tell you what you need when you need it and how you need it and you don't need anything but i know i understand why but now that you understand better you'll do better yes <laughs> makes sense who else has a praise report oh i got to talk to my son yesterday he's uh doing really good we healed his knee um so he's gonna go and give us a, a full report tomorrow um with his mri so they didn't say anything when he when they took the mri the or the first time they just told him to go back to his barracks so we're assuming that's good but he said he feel really great um he did have a sniffle so we told him we'd heal him of the sniffle but the thing that got me the most other than him calling was he said dad i remember everything that you teach and i've been practicing it i was like yes that's my boy <laughs> <laughs> so that was a good praise report for me and I had in my third eye's mind I said he's gonna call he's gonna call he's gonna call I kept getting that over, over and over and as soon as I kept thinking it on the last one he called <laughs> so that was a good one for me and, and mama she was very happy to hear from her baby so that was our praise report so anyone else <clears throat> You want to talk about that? Uh, so we just yesterday was it yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday, yesterday was uh end of lease for our car, mm -hmm. so we take it uh back to the dealership. Usually end of lease we have two options: either we buy outright, mm -hmm. or we can just return the car and and then walk uh away. yeah then then walk away. Mm -hmm. And so they do the inspection and everything, and then uh in the end the car has positive equity. Uh -huh. And so dollars. we got a few, a few thousand, thousand dollars back at the end. Ah, what a good one. What time <laughs> happened to us, but it's so good. All the time. That is the anointing and the blessing on your life, see? Yeah. You reap what you sow, as the Bible says, which is nothing more than a law of attraction. What you put out is what you get back in, because in your hearts, you wanted some money, didn't you? Yes, Pastor. Yeah, I <laughs> In the universe, God knows how to bring that to you. What a great report. Congratulations. Now you can go get another 2025 brand new car. <laughs> yeah. Thinking about I don't know. I don't know yet. It'll come. Take your time. You have time. You have time. Mm -hmm. Good reports. Good reports. All right. We're on page 1030. And as Lily said, we're talking about, Holy Spirit is talking about self-concept versus self. Question number one, what is self-concept versus self? Ooh, trick question, Pastor. No, it's not. Uh, self-concept is the one that we created ourselves, is that? Okay. And the self is the true self, the, the inner self. self. 
Yes, the higher self. Good answer. We like that. Anyone else want to add to that? Yes? Self concept is uh, based on ego. Okay. We think of, we think of what, we, what we are. Mm -hmm. And self is the real one, the true self. Yes, absolutely. You have the ego self, which judges the world, judges people, judges mm -hmm. self. And then you have the self, which is your, when you say self, you're really talking about spirit, your true spirit, your true nature. Greater is he who is in me than who is in the world. Well, who is in you? Source of God, spirit, the unconditional love. So when we get into the concept, what is the con what is a con what's the definition of concept? Anyone remember? Google it. <laughs> Concept is something that you, you think of and you believe that it is the truth, right? There it is. Yep. So the self-belief mm -hmm. that is not aligned with truth. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Hello, God Lovey. How are you? Oh, hello, I'm I'm doing great right now. Good to have you on. You have a praise report? We just barely started. Oh, uh, right now I'm just just happy, happy to be here. That's a great <laughs> praise report. <laughs> All right. Question number two: What is the purpose of self concept versus self? Ooh. <laughs> we'll think now. <laughs> What is the purpose? It's almost like the previous few weeks uh, lesson is like to differentiate what is real and what is uh, yep. uh, what, what what the illusion. Uh, yes, something like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And to further add to that, because you're 100% correct, it is to allow you to mature in a way that has you in alignment with God. Does your brother and sister react for you? That's an easy one. Does your brother and sister react to you? When it comes to self-concept versus self, do your brothers and sisters react for you? Yeah. Yes. Alyssa said yes? Yes. No. Lily says no. Explain the yes, if you please. <laughs> well, uh, I would think we are influencing people all the time. Uh-huh. So, uh, your energy will uh, help, I mean, the energy will help to uh, them to follow you. Absolutely. And what if they're a narcissist? <laughs> the narcissist, they either follow you or they go away. So they go away, absolutely. Yeah. And Lily, what's, what's the no? I, I think that we have full control, so they... The, even their reaction in the end should be in alignment of my position, isn't it? Okay, we'll buy that one. Both answers are correct. We will, uh, we will explain it more. <laughs> because you you are both on the right path and without fully understanding what the whole lesson is about self-concept and the self, you gotta remember, concept is, is learning. If you think about concepts are learned. Does that make sense? Yes. Question number four. Oh, we just gave you the answer. Concepts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Learn. Oh. Concepts are learning. <laughs> All right. Question number five. Concepts are concepts maintain the blank. Concepts maintain the what? Maintain the wall. They maintain the world. <clears throat> not gonna give you the answer. I, I say it's the illusion. Okay, that's a great answer. Both of them. Well, illusion is part of the world, so both of you are saying the same thing. Mm. Absolutely. We'll give you the answer later. <laughs> All right, and then our affirmation oh. today. Oh, you said, I do not know the thing I am. <laughs> don't know the yeah. thing that I am. <laughs> Affirmation, I do not know the thing I am and therefore do not know what I'm doing 
where I am, or how to look upon the world or on myself. Oh. Ooh, that's that's a that's a big one. But if you go back to how to um, rule your day, if you don't judge anything, then the day will be given to you, correct? So you have to remove self or the self concept out of what the self, higher self, Holy Spirit is already teaching you. Does that make sense? Yes. The learning of the world is built upon a concept of the self adjusted to the world's reality. It fits it well for this is an image is that suits a world of shadows and is somebody said who said illusions lily said illusions illusions there it is here it walks at home where what it sees is one with it and that's how the world sees everything they see it as from a perception and not a perspective and this is why oftentimes they judge from the self-concept and not the true self of perception i mean a perspective does that make sense okay. The building of a concept of the self is what the learning the world is for. That's what the learning of the world is for. That's its purpose, that you come without a self and make one as you go along. So in other words, you cre create a false version of yourself that is not true. And by the time you reach maturity, you have perfected it to meet the world on equal terms at one with its demands. Notice it didn't say your demands, but the world's demands. Mm. A concept of the self is made by who? You. Mm. Watch this. Here's, here's the big thing in what you've all said. This is why I say both of you are right in terms of your answers. It bears no likeness to yourself at all. You ever try to see somebody mimic someone else and you mm. go, that's not even you. You're trying to be something you're not. Yes. Uh -huh. All the time, absolutely. Yeah. Whether they be young people or adults, it is an idol made to take the place of your reality as son of God. The concept of the world would teach is not the thing that it appears to be. Does that make sense? Yeah. For it is made to serve two purposes but one of which the mind could recognize the first presents the face of innocence the aspect acted on it is the fact that smiles and charms and even seems to love oh i love you melissa Ooh, i can't stand her oh goodness gracious double face <laughs> the double face yeah. they smile in your face but all the while they're trying to destroy you or downgrade you yeah. and oftentimes you can see past the fake smile you can see past the the fakeness and the illusion that they're trying to present and that's not the real them that is the self-concept of how they've judged you and now they've judged you according to the world this is why your bible says you're in the world but not of the world so in the world but not of the world says I can walk among the world without the shadows and the illusions and getting caught up in the madness, getting caught up with the drama. You ever have somebody pull you into the drama because drama loves company, misery loves company? <laughs> drama does not like Lily, so it will go away. <laughs> it, drama doesn't like any of us because we run far from it. Absolutely. <laughs> But we had to go to learn some of the drama so we knew, hey, we don't like that because we don't like that energy. We don't like that negativity. We don't like the way it makes us feel. More importantly, we don't like what it attracts to us. Yeah. So we have to change. Well, let's see, where am I? Oh. And by the time you reach maturity, you have perfected it to meet the world on equal terms at one with its demands. This is why some people say, oh, you're so worldly, you're into the materialistic things and blah, 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 blah. And in one sense, they judge you, but in the other sense, they're trying to make a point where you have perfected being in the world. For instance, gamblers. 
if you were talking to a professional poker player who started off before they were professionals, they would be considered worldly. Someone who buys a lot of jewelry, has to buy a lot of materialistic things. And give me, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as it does not become an idol, then those things are okay because at the end of the day, you can't take that stuff with you when you make a transition. So a concept of the self is made by you. It bears no likeness to yourself at all. It is an idol made to place the... Oh, did I already read that? I sure did. Yeah. The concept of the self... The concept of the self the world would teach is not the thing it appears to be. Oh, we already read that one too. Y'all need to help me out. Say, Pastor, you already read that. <laughs> you know, this aspect can grow angry, for the world is wicked and unable to provide the love and shelter innocence deserves. Mm -hmm. And so this face is often wet with tears and the injustices the world never makes the first attack. Mm -hmm. But every day, a hundred little things make small assaults upon its innocent, provoking it to irritation and at last to open insult and abuse. Absolutely. We, everybody, rate, we've all encountered that happen. <laughs> <laughs> at one point in time, it has happened and sometimes we inflict it upon ourselves if we're not in the right mind of God or the self. We attack ourselves and then insult and abuse. Oh, I'm not pretty enough. Oh, I'm not handsome enough. Mm. Oh, I'm not. And it's that self doubt. The face of innocent, the concept of the self so proudly wears can tolerate attack in self defense. For it is not a well known fact who makes a picture of themselves omits this face, for they have need of it. When people judge things, they never put themselves on that judgment. When they judge you, they never see you as your brother and sister. When they judge you, in truth, they see you as an enemy. Does that make sense? Mm. The other side they do not want to see, yet it is here the learning of the world has set its sights, for it is here the world's reality is set to see it to, to set to see to it the last idols, or idols last. See to it the idols last. Beneath the faith of beneath the face of innocence, there is a lesson that the concept of the self was made to teach. It is a lesson in a terrible displacement and a fear so devastating that the face that smiles above it must forever look always or look away, lest it perceive the treachery it hides. The lesson teaches this: I am the thing you made of me. And as you look on me, you stand condemned because of what I am. This is why your Bible says, judge not or you'll be judged. On this conception of the self, the world smiles with approval for it guarantees the pathways of the world are safely kept and those who walk on them will not escape. So let's use the politics for a moment. Not that we follow it, but you can feel the energy and you can see it on your social medias and your news feeds and all this especially here in America and elsewhere around the country, but specifically here, because we live here, is you have the left versus the right, the Republicans versus the Democrats, and everybody's fighting to get the voters approval and side one another. And look at the displacement and the fear of one versus the other. And it's a constant even perhaps maybe in Canada, perhaps where else in the world, they'll see these things. But it teaches us, I'm the thing you made of, and as you look on me, you stand condemned because of what I am. On this conception of the self, the world smiles with approval for it guarantees the pathway of the world are safely kept and those who walk in them will not escape. So now you got these two people fighting and whoever wins, one's gonna say, oh, the other one's cheating. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't fair. Oh, it was rigged. Here is the central lesson that ensure your brother and sister is condemned eternally. Notice there is no love within the politics, but everyone says they're a Christian. Hmm, contra contradiction, isn't there? <laughs> Even to the point where a lot of it is fear-based, whether it be on race, your political party, your religion, 
how you look just because they don't like you for whatever reason. They don't have to have a reason. It's just something about you. They just cannot stand. So yeah. pastor, question, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. When you say that, um, do not judge or you'll be judged, right? Mm -hmm. So if you don't judge other people, mm -hmm. right? But it doesn't stop people from judging you, correct? Correct. But that's their problem, not yours. Because their judgment always comes with attack. Every judgment, every judgment comes with an attack. But if you're not judging, you're not attacking because now you see them as God sees them in unconditional love because now you're, they're your brothers and your sisters. So now you don't condemn them as what the lesson is saying. Regardless of what they do to you, you don't have to do it back. Mm -hmm. You're just going to have people that's going to come and don't like you because you're Asian. They're going to like you because you're not, you're a woman. They're going to like you because you have more money. They're going to like you because you drive this type of car. They're not going to like you because of this. They're going to like, who cares? At the end of the day, you know the truth about yourself, correct? Mm -hmm. So that doesn't affect you. Because a lot of times when they're judging you, they don't, as the Bible says, take the plank out of their own eye. They don't see themselves for what they've done because they don't even see themselves judging because they think they're justified in judging you. And then they'll try to clean it up and go, well, only God can judge you. Well, yeah. why would unconditional love judge you? It's unconditional. Yes, Lily. So let's say if somebody judges us and then we, but we, we refuse to do um, any judgment against them. Mm -hmm. Does it break the karma? They go away because now you're not react. You're not reacting yeah. to the judgment. Yes. Correct. Yeah. So now it will be like a a, a one person boxer trying to box himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Then the then the the, the person that judge you gets so mad. And, and then after a while, they have to go away because they yeah. see that the attacks don't affect you. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes, because yes. We've learned to stay in love and we learn to say, you know what? That's just your opinion. That's not the truth. Mm -hmm. And normally, 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 when people judge you, it's either out of fear, anger, hate, or jealousy. All of the above. Thank you. <laughs> you get out of our you get out of our head, Melissa. No. <laughs> I was getting all of the above. Absolutely. Uh -huh. So when you're not when you don't feed into that stuff, that doesn't affect you. Kind of like with the narcissist. When you don't feed into the narcissist, you don't go back and forth with them, they have no power. You've literally taken the power away from them and they were powerless. So now they gotta go teach somebody else the, the lessons. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. For, for what you are has now become your brother and sister sin. For this is no forgiveness possible. So when they're judging you, they can't forgive you. Yeah. It's hard for them to judge you and forgive you. At the, it's, it's like saying, okay, love you, I love you and hate you at the same time. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Right? Then Lovey will be confused. What? That was I'm confused as hearing it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> because it doesn't make sense. Oh well, I'm 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 someone once told me I'm poor but I'm rich in the spirit. <laughs> and what does that mean? Oh. So they try to try to justify the lack that they're in with the spirit, not realizing the spirit can overcome and take over the lack. Yes. Uh -huh. That makes sense. Uh -huh. So now there's a, it's a displacement of the thinking and it's confusing. Uh -huh. He's rich in the spirit, but his mind, his mind create all the blockages. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. So now that's confusing too, because you go, how can the spirit now, what spirit are we talking about? Because now, so now it throws, it throws the whole confusion off. And this is what they really are thinking when they're judging you based on that, because there's no forgiveness involved. Mm -hmm. They just see you for what you did wrong. Mm, yeah. It's all they see. Mm 
Yeah. And you might not have done anything other than be your loving selves. And because they are not loved themselves, they're jealous of the love that they see in you and people giving you. Yes, yeah. Lily. I said, sometimes we, we are being judged just because we exist. We happen to pass by and then somebody will make some very funny accusation. Yep, absolutely. Well, look at me and my wife, me being a black man and her being Asian. When we go into the culture, everybody's looking like, one, they're confused. Am I a, a dark black Chinese man? <laughs> <laughs> and it's the confusion of why I'm with her and why she's with me, stereotype where you should only be with your own people. You should only date your own kind and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So even though they won't say it, but you can see the looks, uh -huh. you could hear the whispers, you could see the stares. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and boy, if, if stares could kill, man, we, we would all be dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then, yeah. and then some of them they cannot stop their curiosity. They approach you and say, "Hi, yeah. how, 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 how you like the?" And then the when I go ni hao, they're really confused. What ni hao are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so it really throws them off, but we get a kick out of it because we learn not to even respond or react to that. We see it and we just go on about our business. We don't even talk about it anymore. Before we used to talk about it, but now we don't even talk about it because it's not even important to talk about it because people like you already said, are gonna judge you just because. And there's nothing you can do about it other than not respond to it, you know? Oh, good, good points, good points. No longer does it matter, your, your brother or sister does, for your accusing finger points to them unwavering and deadly in its aim. <laughs> oh, look at that couple. <laughs> and we've all been there, right? And the old saying is the one you point is the three that's pointing back to you. <laughs> Normally. It points to you as well, but this is kept still deeper in the mist below the face of innocence. And as Melissa say, they come with the cure. Hi, hi, yeah, oh, yeah, what, 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 what? Ooh. Now they're really curious. Who am I? What is this strange looking man? Is he black? Is he Asian? Is he Filipino? What is he? I've been labeled everything, literally. Someone has called me a Filipino and I went, really? I look Filipino? Okay. They don't know. But it's that it's that it's that judging finger, and mothers really good at to their children. <laughs> that scolding isn't that the scolding finger? Every child knows what this finger means. You're in trouble. <laughs> and in these shrouded vaults are all your brothers and sisters' sins and yours preserved and kept in darkness, where they cannot be perceived as errors, which the light would surely show. So in other words, they're hiding. They, they wanna show them all perfect and holier than thou and wanna point out all your mistakes of what you've done. You can be neither blamed for what you are, nor can you change the things it makes you do. Your brothers and sisters then is symbol of your sins to you who are built silently and yet with ceaseless urgency, condemning still your brother and sister for the hated thing you are. When they judge you based on any of those things, thank you for 11 of them, we ask for upgrades, downloads, and activations. When they judge you according to any of those things, it's really them hating themselves. If you really, if you really look at it, like you say, they're, they're going to judge you just because. Well, no, it's not just because. They just don't want to tell you the cause. They know why. They really know why. 
but then they'll try to hide it with, oh, I'm this and I'm that, and you're you're just this little peon, this nothingness. <laughs> Make sense? <laughs> Yeah, yes, like, yes. like Melissa, Melissa and I, we, we, we kind of like go into different <laughs> frequency yeah. and then people say, why are you looking so happy? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Because they're not happy, I realize. <laughs> and they're not happy and they, and they hate to see you happy. <laughs> they really do. Well, think about it. When you guys were going overseas to the uh, organization, look at all the jealous people that were jealous of you. Oh yeah, man. Look at the things that they were saying about you all and uh -huh. are you guys so happy when we're all miserable? You need to be miserable with <laughs> us. Look at us. Don't I look happy? <laughs> they were sitting behind us, Pastor. But they'll be looking at us. Yep. But some of them, some of them actually genuinely came to to us. How 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 is it that you're so happy? And they just be happy, that's fall. And Let's pause for a moment. Isn't that such a peculiar question to ask, even though it's so significant? And you would go, just be happy. Let that junk go. But because when two or three are gathered, everybody feels that energy. So everybody other than you two were only happy people there where everybody else was miserable because one, they didn't want to be there, first and foremost. Me too. Me too, Pastor. <laughs> well, but you didn't judge it. You made the best of it where they could not. They had to wallow in the suffering. They had to wallow in the pain. They had to wallow in the guilt. They had to wallow in the shame. They had to wallow in the fear. They had to put on the fake smiles and talk to everyone where they didn't want to really talk to everyone. <laughs> and the ones who was bold enough to come and ask you and you told them, just be happy. What was their expression? What was their, what was their answer? They, they, were, they were shocked. They were shocked and they were going like, just be happy. I said, yeah, wow. because it is <laughs> just being is a form of attitude, that's all. Just that's maintain it. that attitude and be happy everywhere you are, in whatever you do, and they go like, how? How? <laughs> but I'm, I'm look, just grateful, Pastor, I'm grateful that I have a partner. <laughs> I have Melissa with me, and both of us were happy. Otherwise, I would look silly by myself. <laughs> well, and what y'all did was, because you two lights came together, you two sons of God came together. Y'all opened up a door for those who actually was bold enough to approach you and ask you, hey, I see your happiness. I feel your happiness. And I want that happiness. How? Because they had been miserable for so long. A person is miserable for so long. <laughs> when a person is miserable for so long and they forget their happiness, they have to ask how to be happy because now they don't know what makes them happy anymore. Oh, because yeah. now everything was about obligation. Yeah. Yeah. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. It was a, and that's what it was. So now they crucified themselves by being at the organization and they didn't want to be there. <laughs> and then they see you two lights coming along with love and happiness and smiling and being yourselves. Curiosity goes, okay, I want that. How? How? It got to be a secret. Show, write it down. What's the formula? Uh -huh. And you can be happy. Yeah, the so funny part is that we have a lot of snacks coming to our table, you know. <laughs> then, <we're, laughs> then we'll be eating. And then the people behind us watching us eating. And uh -huh. they're curious and say, hey, I want some of that. Yeah. Hey. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah I would say no. <laughs> For me. <laughs> And then, and then we pick and choose who to give. Yep. And then we were enjoying our stuff, Pastor. Absolutely. Pick and choose who to give. Okay, I give you only one piece, yeah? One piece, okay? Because we also we also only eat it once a year. Right, right, absolutely. <laughs> you enjoy it for yourself. So now when you hear me say, and you always hear us say, good, holy, and beautiful, in a word means you're highly favored. You're blessed and highly favored. Because now look who brought you the food where I didn't get none. Why come they get some and I didn't get none? I'm more richer than them. I'm more prettier than them. I'm more better than them. I'm more skinny and I'm more blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so now the jealousy comes in where now the snakes are back there just talking and they're ready to strike because now they've already judged you. 
<laughs> and now they want to be your friend because you got the good snacks and even though you heard them talking stuff about you behind your back. Yeah. But isn't that the way it normally goes? They'll talk noise behind your back and then come and smile in your face and try to be your friend when you just, you, how'd you just talk about me a few months ago? That's right. what, what changed between these minutes of you approaching me because now you, ha you see something that you want that you didn't get, right? Yeah. So that's the self-concept that we all endure. Yeah. And look how you guys shine and brought light because I can tell you those who came to you found happiness because they were bold enough to ask the question how to be happy where the other ones were <laughs> can't stand y'all <laughs> <laughs> you laugh all the time yeah. what are you laughing at but that's the blessing upon your life because when we practice unconditional love, it stuck to you like tar where you found your happiness. You was already happy, but you were happy being there, even though it was an obligation, but you were happy. Okay, we're here. Let's make the best of it. We're here. Let's make the best of it. We chose to come here, so we're going to make the best of it. They chose to be there and make the most miserable time of their lives. <laughs> And they all told miserable stories behind closed doors to one another about their misery. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. yeah, because misery loves company. Mm -hmm. All chose not to be part of that company. So you couldn't be part of that misery club. You didn't have to be, you didn't have the VIP to the misery club. <laughs> all right. Concepts are learned. They are not natural. Apart from learning, they do not exist. They're not given, so they must be made. Not one of them is true, and many come from feverish imaginations, hot with hatred and distortions born of fear. Mm. And that's what you all felt when you were there. Mm. They learned a concept that wasn't natural. To be happy is natural. To ask such a, a question seems insane but it's it to us it seems insane how does how do you not be happy just be happy they've written thousands of songs be happy don't <laughs> worry yeah <laughs> there's a tons of happy songs they can sing but instead they want to play the death music <laughs> the yeah. funeral procession music <laughs> yeah yeah what is a concept but a thought to which its maker gives a meaning of their own. Y'all were the object of the concept because mm -hmm. they had a thought and gave meaning to themselves about who you, they thought you were. Make sense? Concepts maintain the world, but they cannot be used to demonstrate the world is real. For all of them are made within the world born in its shadow, growing in its ways, and finally maturing in its thoughts. They are idols, or there are ideas of idols painted with the brushes of the world, which cannot make a single picture representing truth. In you were in the world, you was in that world, but not of that world. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> a concept of the self is meaningless for no one here can see what it is for and therefore cannot picture what it is yet it is all learning that the world directs begun and ended with the single aim of teaching you this concept of yourself that you will choose to follow this world's laws and never seek to go beyond its roads nor realize the way you see yourself so now they put on a false illusion like the narcissist and that's really what they will call them the narcissists at the organ. We'll call them narcissists because they put on a false illusion about themselves. Make sense? Yeah. Now, must the Holy Spirit find a way to help you see this concept of the self must be undone if any peace of mind is to be given you? When they came and said, How do you be happy? They were trying to change their mind because they lost the peace of mind. 
because the opposite of happy is what? Unhappy. Yeah. When you're unhappy, there is no peace. Mm. Can't find it. Nor can it be unlearned except by lessons aimed to reach that you are something else. For otherwise, you would be asked to make exchange, you would ask to make exchange things else. For otherwise, you would be asked to make exchange of what you now believe for total loss of self and greater terror would arise in you. Thus are the Holy Spirit's lesson plans arranged in easy steps. Nothing difficult about just be happy. Yeah. Is there a multiple choice to this question? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, very happy, moderately happy, miserable. Happy. <laughs> miserable. No, no. Yeah. Sometimes I, I can show you unhappy. Come. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Why? They see happy and then want to, as your mirror arms, mirror neurons in your mind begin to say, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna practice imitating them till it becomes the reality. And now it becomes my normal because this is my natural state of being. So thus are the Holy Spirit's lesson plan the range and easy steps that though there be some lack of ease at times and some distress, there is no shattering of what was learned, but just retranslation of what seems to be the evidence on its behalf. Let us consider then what proof there is that you are what your brother and sister made of you. For even though you do not yet perceive that this is what you think, you surely learn by now that you behave as if it were. Does your brother and sister react for you? And does your brother and sister know exactly what could happen? Can your brother and sister see your future and ordain before it comes, what you should do in every circumstances? Your brother and sister must have made the world as well as you to have such presence in the things to come. And they don't. Yeah. They're, they're from perception and not perspective. Okay. So the answer to all those is no, 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 no. <laughs> That you are what your brother and sister made of you seems most unlikely. Even if they did, who gave the face of innocence to you? God. Is this your contribution? Happiness. Yes, that's the contribution. Love. Happy is associated with love, correct? So not only did they see happiness, they saw love. Because love can't go, uh, this It doesn't work. <laughs> you look constipated. It won't work. <laughs> who is then the you who made it? And who is deceived by all your goodness and attacks it so? Let us forget the concept's foolishness and merely think of this. There are two parts to what you think yourself to be. If one were generated by your brother and sister, who was there to make the other, and from whom must something be kept hidden. If the world be evil, there is still no need to hide what you are made of. Who is there to see? And what but his attack could need defense? Love doesn't have to defend itself. Happiness doesn't have to defend happiness. It just is. Perhaps the reason why this concept must be kept in darkness is that in the light, the one who would you see, if all its underpinnings were removed, your concept of the world depends upon this concept of the self, and both would go. If either one were ever raised to doubt, the Holy Spirit does not seek to throw you into panic. So God merely asked if just a little question might be raised. There are alternatives about the thing that you must be. You might, for instance, be the thing you chose to have your brother and sister be. This shifts the concept of the self from what is wholly passive and at least 
makes way for active choice and some acknowledgement that interaction must have entered. This is where the Holy Spirit comes in and changes the mind. So when y'all encountered those group of people, that's what was happening to them because there was a little question. How do I be happy? Duh, simple. There is some understanding that you choose for both of you and what your brother and sister represents has meaning that was given it by you. It also shows from glimmering of sights into perceptions law that what you see reflects the state of your perceivers minds. Yet, who was it that did the choosing first? If you are what you choose, chose your brother and sister to be, alternatives were there to choose among and someone must have first decided on the one to choose and let the other go. Melissa had to let that thing go that was crippling her body. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. If not, she would be in here still faster. You'll be. Oh. <laughs> but that's not the case. So she went to sleep. And I think she heard us last time say, let's go take a nap. <laughs> go to sleep because it breaks the cycle. Although this step has gains, it does not yet approach a basic question. Something has must gone before these concepts of the self, and something had must done the learning which gave rise to them. Nor can this be explained by either view. The main advantage of shifting to the second from the first is that you somehow entered in the choice by your decision. But this gain is paid in almost equal loss. For now, you stand accused of guilt for what your brother and sister is. And you must share your brother and sister guilt because you chose it for them in the image of your own. This is where judge not to be judged. So when the narcissist and those come and approach you and they judge you, this is this is the image that they see of themselves. I don't like black people. Really? What are you saying about yourself? We're all human beings. While only your brother and sister was treacherous before, now must you be condemned along with them. Nope. The concept of the self has always been the great preoccupation of the world, and everyone believes that they must find the answer to the riddle of themselves. Salvation can be seen as nothing more than the escape from concept. It does not concern itself with content of the mind, but with the simple statement that it thinks. And what you think has choice and can be shown that different thoughts have different consequences. Very, 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 very true. So be careful what you think. So it can learn that everything it thinks reflects the deep confusion that it feels about how it was made and what it is. And vaguely does the concept of the self appear to answer what it does not know. Seek not your higher self in symbols. There can be no concept that can stand for what you are. What are you? I'm a divine spark of unconditional love. That's what I am. This is who God created me to be. I can be nothing more than that. What matters is, what matters it, which concept you accept while you perceive a self that interacts with evil and reacts to wicked things. Your concept of yourself will still remain quite meaningless and you will not perceive that you can interact but with yourself. To see a guilty world is but the sign your learning has been guided by the world and you behold it as you see yourself. This is where big time judgment comes in. The concept of the self embraces all you look upon and nothing is outside of this perception. If you can be hurt by anything, you see a picture of your secret wishes, nothing more than this. And in your suffering of any kind, you see your own concealed desire to kill. You will make many concepts of the self as learning goes along. Each one will show the changes in your own relationships as your perceptions of yourself has changed. There will be some confusion every time there is a shift but be you thankful that the learning of the world is loosening its grasp upon your mind. And be you sure and happy. Thank you, Lily. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Sudi. 
Don't you love you? In the confidence <laughs> that we'll go at last and leave your mind at peace. And this is the peace that pass surpasses all understanding. The role of the accuser will appear in many places and in many forms, and each will seem to be accusing you. Why you're not miserable like us? Why you're not suffering with the rest of us? <laughs> <laughs> it is to this unsealed and open mind that truth returns unhindered and unbound. Where concepts of the self have been laid by is truth revealed exactly as it is. When every concept has been raised to doubt and question and been recognized as made on no assumptions that would stand the light, then is the truth left free to enter in its sanctuary, clean and free of guilt. There is no statement that the world is more afraid of to hear than this. I do not know the thing I am, and therefore do not know what I am doing, where I am, or how to look upon the world or on myself. Yet in this learning is salvation born, and what you are will tell you of its higher self, itself. Questions, comments, concerns? Mm. Pretty straight to the point, yes? Yeah. So, yeah. Of concept versus the self, the higher self. The higher self is that you are connected to God, and God created you in unconditional love, beauty, good, holy, passionate, prosperous, abundant, without lack, and full of faith. That is who you are. Yeah. All right. Heavenly Father, once again, we just thank you. We love you. We adore you, Holy Spirit, for teaching us about self-concept versus the self. And we thank you that we know the self because the self is of God, which is unconditional love. We thank you for blessing us within this day, giving us the right mind, body, and spirit. We thank you for those you put before us, new and old, that all we say and do is of you and out of ourselves, that you get the glory down and the praise. We ask for traveling graces. We depart, continue to bless over our homes, our finances, our transportation, our food, our clothing, all that you provide us with, we thank you for. Continue to bless over our families, our friends, our neighbors, our neighborhood. Bless over those less fortunate ourselves. Bless over those who have lost loved ones that you comfort and touch their heart. Bless over the homeless in their journey. Be with them and guide them. We thank you until the next appointed time. We say thank you. And amen, amen, and amen. We love you. We love you. We love you. Love and again, you. Love you. On tomorrow, we will send you all the video. Pray that everyone on will open up their hearts and minds to receive the word about obtaining the miracles. And pray that we have so much fun, which we will, because fun is showing up and showing out. All right. All right. We love you all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.